Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we arrived here in front of Ares' house, and we have Ares in our team now. Before we move on though, in the last episode I given the cover material to, to myself, but instead I want to give it to Ares. Now, you might think this is not a good idea, but hear me out. First of all, the cover material allows a character to cover the other, right? So that would make sense from Fallow because he's stronger, right? On the other hand, though, Ares is in the back row. And Ares is really fast in building up her limits. And by that, I mean that she's able to learn the other limits faster than others. Which means I want to get her hit a lot. Because if she gets hit a lot, I get better limits. So yeah, that's why I basically want her to get hit a lot. Plus, since she's in the back row, she takes half damage for everything. So, even though I'm supposed to be her bodyguard, she will be my bodyguard. <laughs> but oh well. Apart from that, let's just proceed into the house and proceed with the story. I'm home, mom. This is Fado, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You mean you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright, I have Fado with me. Thank you, Fado. So what are you going to do now? Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Georgia's bar. Is Georgia a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Okay, due to the later scene I have to answer no way. <laughs> you don't need you not you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7? I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, don't know. Getting out from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me just to sit by and listen after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Fado to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Iris, please go and make the bed. Okay, let's go to let's talk to Iris, Mom here, Elmira. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldia, right? Yeah, rather I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but would you please leave it here tonight without telling Iris? All right. So we just have to go up and and rest here. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you'd better get some rest tonight. Alright then. Fado. Good night. Oh man. Seem pretty tired. Hmm. Huh? I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since that time. My, how you've grown. I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend, one I'll take care of you. I think that would be the perfect type for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. 
Sector 7 is past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Now here you get a control on your character again. Now, if you... Well, first thing you do is you can check here and get a potion and a phoenix down. Now what you have to do is you have to live without hiring seeing you. Well, that's pretty easy. You just have to walk and don't run and you better stay away from Ares room. So just have to walk around until you go downstairs, then you'll be able to run wherever, wherever you want. Just don't walk on the first room. I mean, don't run on the first room. Okay. So we made it. Let's just get out of here. To go to Sector 7, we need to exit this down and go up. Or more, more like left than up, but anyway. Oh, look who's here. You're, you're up bright and early. How could I ask you to go along when I knew it would be dangerous? Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Georgia 7 Heaven. I'll take you there, come on. Okay, this is nothing that particularly dangerous. This is just a, a little course with a little, some enemies. Sector 6 is just that. It's just one screen. So yeah, we'll get to do some other battles at least. Alright then, so you covered me, thank you. So you, you already seen how the core material works out. Huh? That's pretty easy. Come on. Sure, you attack, Ares. You do that. Even though... Come on. Okay. The enemies keep doing that. We'll be able to see Ares first limit in no time. Probably right now. No. Just one more attack? Fine. Okay, you take 10 damage. You take another 50. Ares cover? Not yet. But I do get a limit break. I'm gonna use the, the, that guy over there. Okay, now he's got our first limit, the healing wind. We're gonna see that after the braver. Boom! Get out of the way. Okay, here's Ares' first limit, healing wind. This is a healing limit and recovers all party members by 50% of their health. Which is pretty handy, so we don't even waste MP to heal now. Okay. Now it's your turn. Bang. Okay. Alright. Go down this path over here and yeah, another battle. There are times where I get through this with no battles at all. And times like this where I just get battles over and over. Yeah, this guy's not a problem. I think it's the strongest enemy you can find here, but... It's not a problem at all. Did I just made... Yeah, I'm in darkness. I'm under the darkness status. And I'm less precise. And this status is another status that's rigged. Because... Yeah, darkness works for us, but if you... If you happen to put darkness on an enemy, that won't freaking work. Enemies are not affected by the darkness status. In any version of Final Fantasy VII. Okay, then. Come on. I see I missed. Alright, that hurts a lot. So you know what? I'll have to heal. Manually. No with a limit. We're using magic. I'll have to heal with magic this time around. Alright then. Damn it! I just had to. I just healed! Come on, Ares. Help us! Okay, I'm still fine though. There he goes. I'm, al I'm even almost up to another Braver thanks to that guy. And I have to use it a lot if I want to unlock the, the second limit in the series. Alright then, well, we made it out of the sector. Yeah, we made it. The gate to sector 7 is in there. Thanks. 
I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright going home? Oh no, what will I, what will I ever will I do? Isn't isn't that what you want me to say? Now I have to take her home, of course. <laughs> See her home. Isn't that a little out of the way? I know. Yeah, I guess so. Th that was another choice made for the later scene. Can we take a break? A break, I mean. Yeah, of course. Now you're free to move around. You can explore this place, but there's nothing at all. Like, seriously, nothing. This place is completely useless. Then when Ares stops, you just have to talk to her. I can't believe it's still here. Fado, over here. What rank? What what rank were you? Rank? You know, a soldier. Oh, I was first class. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. You were serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Huh? Hey, back there. Georgia? That girl in the car was Georgia? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait! I'm going alone, you go home! Alright, then, uh, then let's follow her. We have no other choices, actually. Alright, she should be already in our party, right? Not yet! I'll have to go up another screen then. Welcome to Sector 6 Wall Market. We're gonna be here a little bit in this place. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we gotta find Georgia fast. Indeed we do. So, um, we're supposed to explore this place a little bit. Um, well, can do it. Let's see what you have to say. Hey, you too. Why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room. How about it? Yeah, maybe or maybe not. What about you? you see something? Hmm. I just can. I just can't make up my mind. Hmm. Huh? About what? Hmm. Don't make me say it. Is the shop down on the right? What? What about it? What about the shop down on the right? Man, should I go or not? I guess some men's lot times like these. I'm hopeless. Hey, aren't you? What? You mean you're too? You, you can answer either, and doesn't change anything. Hey, don't bring me down to your level. What? Me too. I decided this after a lot of deep thought. My last memory of Midgar, you know. But that guy over there kind of scares me. What about you, soldier? Urgh, no way, I can't go on. Things aren't working out. Between our differences and my pay, it just isn't cutting it. What about you walking around here? What the hell? You, you, you or something, this isn't not something, <laughs> I'm busy right now, I don't even want to just say anything there. I feel like there's gonna be a fight. What about you on the entrance? Welcome! Even unpopular deeps like you may meet their destiny here. Looking for a girlfriend too? Yeah, you know a girl named Georgia. Hey, you're pretty fast, Georgia's our newest girl. And unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Oni Bean, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Cornia's mansion. Don Corny is a famous dilettante, now he wants to settle down and he's in the market for a bride. Oh, nice to know that. Then we should go to his mansion, see if we can get her back, somehow. Now there's this place with the item thing over here. No, there's only a computer, but if you try to check it... Bleep beep. Whoa! Broken. Now you wanna remember that for a lot later, because you'll be able to do something with it later on. Harding card's great, this one's a little big, huh? 
Yeah, sure. This is a shop, but we'll be able to explore it later. So um, I'm gonna skip it. What about you? Hey, please come in. Here's a farm. This is a free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. Hey, boy. You sure? You sure got a good-looking high for here? After there, take her to someone's place, and you'll make and you'll make a mint. And what about you, cooking here? It's a little early to start eating. Come back in a bit. All right then. You can actually pass through here. And it, that if that isn't clear, and probably it isn't. Uh, what should I do? Should I buy it? All right. No need to explore any of these houses. We'll be able to do that later. What about you guys? All this trash. Can we do anything with it? All this belongs to the owner of the weapon shop. He keeps picking up things and saving them here. Oh, you mean the owner who even has a tank in the shop? But no matter how you look at it, it's just trash. All this trash, can we do anything about it? Okay, blah blah blah, they will. I'm gonna go over this again. I thought talking to the other one would lead to different results, but apparently it doesn't. Okay, this is the gym we're gonna go here later. So no point in exploring it now. This is the bar, we're no business in here now. But this is the weapon shop and we can actually go in here right now. Hey. You have something? Buy. So that's the weapon for Ares. I actually want to buy that one. A metal knuckle for George, huh? I'll take it. The sword gun for Barnacus is not, mm, not, not used for it. And uh, there's a mitral armlet. That uh, would be pretty nice to have four of those. But I can't. No, I can actually. I can buy four of those, can I? Yeah, I can, of course. But I need more money for something uh, that's gonna happen later on. That I need money for, and that is way too low. Okay, s but if I keep the the material armlet on both of us, I can sell the other armlets that were pretty, which are pretty useless by now. An item. I'm gonna sell four Titan bangles. Two meter, uh, the iron bangle, uh, the four bronze bangles, and the two, and uh, no, the two meter armlet. I need them because. Still have to keep them. Um, actually, we can do yet another thing. Are you gonna keep Ares with the Mitra Rod and sell the Guard Stick? Which will gain me a little more extra zeal. Sell the Guard Stick. Thank you. How many guild do I have now? Enough for what I need. Okay, good. Now there's that man over there, which. Uh, you want something? I don't want to hear any complaints about things, look. For now, you can't do anything, but I remember it for later on. Anyway, let's keep going north here. And there's nothing we can go in to the left. We can go to the right now. And we can f find this place that has graffiti on it, but there's nothing for now. So I just leave and go up on this building. Let's talk to this man over here. This is the mansion of Dark Cornea, the most powerful man in Wool Market. Look, the dawn is not into men, so you, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, and you got another cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the dawn's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Georgia about you. No, you can't. Why? You do know what kind of place this is, don't you? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'll be pretty hard, because if I bust in there, I'll cause too much commotion. But I just can't let you go alone. Oh, man. First, we need to find out if George is alright. What's so funny, Iris? Fado, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Just wait. I got a cute friend I want to bring. Harris, I can't. You are worried about George, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. Next time on Final Fantasy VII, we're gonna try to do just that. We're gonna try to dress up like a, like a girl. See you guys then.